When you get like when you get good like this, these are the, these guys are the top of their game. They're both are the best you can possibly be. I mean, this is a championship fight, and when you, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you have to have control. You got to be able to move around. That's what these guys are doing. It's you know, I was told always watch their feet. Oh oh oh! Hold up! Whoa! No no no! Hey! Oh God! God! Dang! Ah! Oh. Crap! Bums! Man! Just gotta stand for a fucking round! Took all my goddamn money! Shit! Sarge got on the test! No, I got an M! Let's go! I think I'm gonna tell Mom! No, you're not! Yes, I will! Jerk! Just watch me! What are you looking at? I said, what are you looking at? Your ugly face. Oh! Oh! Get him, Travis! Oh, get off get my brother! Oh. Get off my brother! Do what daddy taught you! Uh, I said, get off my brother! No! Leave him alone! You're such a wuss, Ronnie! Stop it! Give him a few hits! He ain't going anywhere! No! Uh. 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 Asswipe! Jerks! You okay? Come on, Travis, let's go home. I got you! Oh man! All mine, sucker! It wasn't for keeps! That was. You always win. I don't want to play pogs with you anymore. Yeah, well, enough of this Japanese crap. Come on, let's go in the house. Go on. <coughs> Fucking monkey friends! Get out! Get out! Come on! Get out there! Yeah. Okay. Come on. Bring it on. But gambling it all away. Tell I'm me. not afraid of you. Uh, hey. Huh? Who? What happened to you? I hope you won. He did. He's a referee. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, Sam, come on. Ah. Mmm. Brand new cigarette. What? It's one o'clock in the afternoon. So what? What are you? Father time? Give the kids squirt of like a Jack and Coke, all right? I'm gonna go to the pisser. You stay right here, okay? I'll be right back. Keep them coming. I got a hot tip on this one. This is a shirt thing. I'm gonna go big on the Raiders. Show you want to do this? Yeah. It's a sucker bet. No, it's a sucker bet if you lose. There you go, buddy. Thanks. How you doing? When have you ever won? Well, we have streaks, you know. We're turning around on this one. My job is to be the sucker or the winner. I thought I told you to stay at the bar. This your kid, son? Travis. Meet Happy. Happy meet Travis. Careful, Travis. You know what they say. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> yeah, that means don't give him your money. That's good. I'll, I'll be by later to clear. Let's get a drink. You're all set. We're, I, br I brought him. We're here. OK. For you. Don't lose it. Here, put it in your pocket. I don't want you to lose it. Listen. 
You're gonna meet some real pricks. Don't be a weak ass bitch. Mm -hmm. Never let them know how scared you are. And if anybody upsets you, you hit them first, and you hit them hard. Bam! Stay right here, okay? All right. Okay, go ahead, hit me. You wanna hit me? Go ahead, hit me. Go on, punch me in. What? Go ahead, hit me. Hit me, punch me. Come on, come on. No, you missed, you missed. Come on, punch me. Stay here. Stay here. small fights, the small gyms, no names, all of it was to get you here for this moment, this fight. Now, Travis, I gotta tell you, man, I ain't never been more proud of anyone in my life. You worked your tail off, son, and now you're here. You deserve this. I love you, brother. I love you, too. I'm serious. How's that feel? Feels good. Go get him. Let's do it. Hey. Hmm. Nervous? Yeah. It's only the beginning. It's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. We got this. Just stay focused. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of the light heavyweight championship on the line tonight. Travis Austin and Willie Roman. <laughs> He's got to get inside to the body if he's got a chance to win this fight. Keep your breath going, baby. Keep your breath going, baby. Here we go. Keep focus. Keep focus. This is what you want. You want the belt? He's got Roman on the back pedal. Roman getting the ropes, and the ref steps in to break it up. Get that hand up, Jack. You can eat it. Hey, Travis. Straight right. Oh, and Austin is down.
Roman is down! Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Roman hasn't moved. Ref is on the count of five, six. That's it, it's over! Travis Austin is your new champ! That I know that you know that we got the style I know that you know that I know that you feel the vibe Cause I write songs in one night Now give me just one night Champ, hey, it was a hell of a fight, man. Still seeing your vulnerabilities. Gonna get back in the gym, work on that upper body strength, because I'm telling you right now, man, we got lucky that Roman was slightly off his game tonight. Dad, relax. He won. <laughs> Stop training for, like, two seconds. Jesus. He's right. We got lucky. No, it was more than just luck, I need. That guy didn't stand a chance. He had none. <laughs> hey, can I see it? Ashley, of course. Honey, be careful with that, right? You worked really hard for that belt. It's so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you're interested. <laughs> <sighs> what? You all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. But I, nah, I haven't touched that shit in like two months. So what's up? Look, uh, I just want to tell you why I had to miss the fight. Hey, don't worry about no, it. No, man, no, it's not cool. It's just... My dad got in trouble again, and I had to take care of a few things. Save his ass from getting thrown in jail. Got messy. I end up getting thrown in jail. Hold up. You went to jail, man? Yeah, it's fine. I Look, I didn't say anything because I was embarrassed. You feel me? It's just it's a shit situation. But for now, for me, I got to stand the straight now. No drugs, no dad drama, nothing. Just focused. Look, I, I don't mean to get all serious on you during your celebration, all right? I just want to let you know I might not have been there, but I was thinking of you. I'm always thinking of you, OK? I love you. Seriously. Thank you so much for everything. Now that you're the champ, I'm going to have to step up my game. Hey, you hey, hey, me? hey. You feel hey, me? Hey, you feel hey. me? You haven't faced me in the ring yet, motherfucker. All right. Well, there he is, Travis Austin, the champ. It is. Ah. Wow. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you, man. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Congratulations, bro. The fact that my big bro is a boxing champ, no other kid in the program can say that I bet, man. Come on. Yeah, but how's the new job, huh? It's good. It's a big firm, but it's good, hey. man. Real good. Hey, hey. How, how are you? you? Good to see you. See you. Yeah. Did you ask her dad if we can go shopping for prom dresses yet? Oh, he's been worrying about the fight. You have to ask him. He's so strict, he's not gonna let us go. Okay. Ask I'm really starting to feel like the old man here, the creepy chaperone, so I'm gonna go ahead and get Ashley and I home now. Come on, baby. What? Tell her no one to stay. Oh, no, honey. No, 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 no. Eddie, let her stay. Yeah, he's your set, this guy. Eddie, let her stay. Yeah? All right, listen, if I let you stay, you promise to be a lady. Yeah? Be here tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. to pick you up. Okay. And this young? <laughs> All right. Hey, high school parties are way worse than this. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better, man? I don't let her go to those either, so you keep an eye on them. All right. I promise. Trust me. All right. Here we go. It's Travis. Travis Austin, man. Hell of a fight, man. Hell of a fight, man. Nice to meet you, Rico. Rico runs this underground boxing thing. It's brutal, but very profitable. I made a lot of bags off you tonight, man. You made me a lot of money, man. And I, and I want to show my gratitude, man. I brought you a gift, man. It's for you, from Rico, man. Man, this is beautiful, but I can't. Travis, take the gift. Don't insult the guy. It's hot, though, man. 
Nah, man. Oh, I'm just playing. Man, <laughs> I'm playing too much, man. <laughs> I'm telling I'm just playing. Damn. Damn. Here's my number. Take the number, man, if you need anything. You call me, man. Anything is Rico, man. I got you. Appreciate that. Anytime. And I like the watch. It's gonna look good on you, man. Oh yeah, I'm just crazy night. What are you guys doing? Hey. Hey young lady. You are cute. Easy. Easy. Actually, this is Rico. It's Milo. Friends of mine. Could I have some? No, you can't have any. What the fuck? Why not? Because you can't. Well, I have to get some pajamas. No, you don't. Get them later. Why is everyone so uptight? Because we're all assholes. You look really nice, by the way. And go. I'll see you downstairs. She's hot. <laughs> Party's still going, huh? Yeah, it's getting stupid late, so I'm about to kick everyone out. You have a good time? Oh my god, the best time. Thanks for talking my dad into letting me stay. Of course. I used to be your age once, so I know what it's like sneaking out of my foster parents' house, drinking under the bleachers. I get it. You act like you're so much older than me. What are you, like 27? 28. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering, uh, have you ever played Pogs? Pogs? What's that? Just some game I used to play as a kid. Anyway, I better get back to the party. And you better get to sleep, or your dad's gonna kill me. Sun's up. Get up. Joe! Too loud, too loud. You know, I'm gonna go check on Ashley. All right, babe. Oh, I need some water. Ashley. Ashley. Ashley, wake up. Your dad's here. Ashley? Ashley? Travis! Travis, come here! Travis! Oh my god, she's not breathing there. She's not breathing. Oh my god. Ashley, wake up, baby. Come on. Ashley, please. Oh my god, Ashley, she's come on. Breathing. Joe, call 911. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, please. Come on, baby, please. Oh god, god, please. Hey. Okay. Oh god. Eddie. What's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no.
need something. I'm not hungry. Eddie. Hey. Did you know that when I married Marie, my mom hated her? She used to say, she's not Mexican, mijo. I knew right away I wanted to have kids with her, and we tried, but nothing. But finally, there is Marie. Pregnant. With my Ashley. But Marie had the heart thing that none of us knew about. Her body just gave up in childbirth. You know, it just kills me because I wake up every day just wishing that my mom knew that Marie died giving birth to her granddaughter. She would have thought of her differently, don't you think so? I mean, she would have thought she was a saint. I just tell myself Marie died passing her heart on to Ashley. How can you sit there and say nothing to me? Nothing after everything we've been through, Travis. I trusted you. She was supposed to be safe. Here. With you, man. So this is on you. Eddie. This is on you. I will always put this on you. You're dead to me. You're dead. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie! Preston still here? Pricks. Yeah, I know. Eddie's on a fucking warpath. As he should be. Spent the last two hours being interrogated by him at the gym. He's asked me all kinds of questions. Cops were here yesterday asking for names of people at the party. The police found Molly in Ashley's system. Of course he wants to know everything. <laughs> How the fuck did she get that? This is a big fucking shit storm. This is a massive, massive shit storm. This is gonna come back to me. Travis, I can't go back to jail. You hear me? I can't go back to jail. I'll fucking kill myself. All right, Joe, man, just calm down. It's my fault. It's my fault. I just wish I kept an eye on her. I looked him in the eye and I told him she'd be okay. I gave him my word. Travis, it's not your fault, my man. Tell Eddie that. know that I'm focused on what's happening today and the gravity of the situation. This isn't fair. Again, I want to state that I advise you against doing this. The charges they brought have no evidence to support a conviction. They are fueled by Eddie's persistence. They're linking this to you because they found drugs in your house, but they cannot link the drugs they found on her system to you in any way. They don't have a case. I'm doing this here. You have up until you sign this document to change your mind. Travis, change your mind. I can fight this for you. Travis, baby, don't. You can't sign that. Please. I know what I'm doing. Today is only an arraignment. We're pleading. Sentencing will come at a later date but the minimum sentence for involuntary manslaughter is two years. Two years? I am already in conversations with the ADA to get you a reduced sentence. She is a big boxing fan, like myself, but the judge is a real stickler. So my educated guess is that it'll be a two-year sentence. Travis, as your friend, I implore you not to do this. This could end your boxing career. Please, listen to him. Don't sign it. It's done then. The 
judge has agreed to work all the formalities in her chambers. I really hope this relieves some of your pain. You need some sun, Travis. Come on, man, let's go a few rounds. <laughs> Booger, he'll kick your ass. Shut the fuck up, Roche. Come on, man. Don't be a pussy. Screw off, Booger. Hey, you're a fucking asshole. You look so beautiful. I just wish I could hold you. I miss you. I miss you too. I can't do this without you. We're losing the house. The lawyers want to use it to settle the civil suit. Stay strong for me. I love you, Dana. I love you, too. Don't lose faith. We got this. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off! Yo, I get that you're a non-talker, but all I want to do is go a few friendly rounds. Things happen here, Travis. You gotta go with the flow. Now I know that you, you know, you like to do things your own way and all that, but I just want to go a few rounds. Or I'll break your point into the laugh and half too, you fuck. And you, you can crack a smile in the morning, you fucking moat. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch from last time, huh? Watch your mouth, Roach. Relax, champ. Can I get your roll? Yeah. I guess you never figured you'd see your old man, did you? Look at you. Is it okay if I smoke in here? I'm assuming that's a yes. No smoke. Shit. <laughs> well, tell me you won. Nope. Well, you see, it's because you didn't listen to your old man. Remember I used to tell you, hit him fast and hit him hard. Why are you here? I tried to call you when you're on the outside. Never heard back. Figured I'd take a shot on the inside. I never got your calls. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Look, I can, I, you know, I can, I can run a whole bunch of cliches by you, a bunch of bullshit. But the fact is, we were fucked up and broke, and we just didn't, we didn't have the capacity to take care of no kids. Anyway, I figured I should tell you your, your mom died about two, five years ago. She had liver failure, and we were done. Not long after we gave you up. But... What about Kelly? I mean, any idea where she is? Does I mean, she know I, about me? You know, last I heard, she was, I don't know, 
living in Northern California, married with two kids, and that's all I know. Where is she? I, I, I know. Do I look like Colombo to you? I'm not doing this. Oh, hold on a second. It's just you and me now. You and me. You abandoned me. You know, look, I can go through the whys and the wherefores and the whatnots and the fucknots. At the end of the day, it'd never be enough for you. So fuck it. The answer is, there is no answer. Fuck it. Look. I got something I want to do for you. I got this partnership, this business deal. This is rock solid. It's going to make a lot of money. And I want to get you in on it. And? And? Just requires a little bit of seed money from everybody involved. And I, you, look, you were the champion. I know you got something socked away. We'll put something in. But I promise you, wow. this will take care of you. What do you mean, wow? Come on, I'm taking you care of you. You gotta be kidding me. You have some balls. Right. Never contact me again. Just remember one thing. Your friends, when you were coming in, ain't gonna be your friends when you're going out. How was your visit? Not that good, huh? Moby Dick. Pretty good. Long ass book, man. You actually read this? <laughs> <laughs> You want to be my friend? You want to fight the champ? Guess not. I have a collect call from... Travis Austin. I accept. Dana. Hey! Dana. Uh, hold, hold on a second. Uh, where's this going? Uh, downstairs in the bedroom. Cool. Who's that? That's Joe. I'm moving today, remember? Yeah, he's helping me out. It's small, but it's cozy. I missed you. Listen, Dana. I, I just, I can't do this anymore. I got in trouble. They gave me two more years. Just, shit's not going well, and... I can't hold you back. What do you mean, two more years? What, what, what are you talking about, babe? Dana, I just want you to live your life. Don't wait for me. No. You don't mean that. No matter what, I'll be there. I'll be there when you get out. I love you. They're calling us in. I gotta go. <sighs> Bye, Dana. All right. What's next? Hey, what's wrong? It was Travis. He got two more years. Well, what happened? <laughs> Dana. Dana. <laughs> Stuff up. You only outgoing. 7 a.m. Hey, officer. Can you get me a razor? Yeah, I get you one. Say here no more. Hey. Surprise you made it. <laughs> I told you I would. It's good to see you. You too. You came. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't? 
I wasn't sure. You know me better than that. This is it. <laughs> it's much different from the house, you know, but the rate's reasonable, you know, and, uh, I mean, we still got a view. Yeah. Um, make yourself at home. Uh, I have some of your clothes downstairs, and I got your belt. Come here, come here. What? Missed you. I missed you too. Oh. Um, are you hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> I hope you like it. I know I will. I took a cooking class. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you learn a lot at the diner, you know? So I'm gonna make some calls. See about some work. Figured I'd reach out to Joe. Joe? Yeah, you know, it'll be good to see him. He went from a sparring partner to now the light heavyweight champ. He's doing great. Yeah. He never visited you once when you're in prison. I'm not worried about that. With his past and all, I get it. No, I don't think it's a good idea. I just think it's messed up. He showed no effort. Like he didn't even care. It's all right. This is nice. You okay? Yeah. I'm just happy to have you back. I love you. I love you too. Travis, Travis, my man, in the flesh. Yo, man, you look great. <laughs> yeah, man, thanks. Wow, I never thought I'd see your ass again. It's been a long time. Yeah. I still don't know why you did what you did. Water under the bridge, right? Yeah, you're a good egg. So tell me, what's this surprise, well, man? Well, this is it. It's That's my place. Me. It's my gym. Damn. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I learned a lot from you. I'm focused. Breaking all my bad habits. I invest my money. Bought a condo. I just don't want to lose my shit like you did. Listen, Joe, man, uh... I need a job. Okay. Your sparring partner has something, man. I need to get back <laughs> on my feet. What's funny? Wouldn't that be a fucking table turner? You sparring for me? Shit. Travis. Travis, I can't. Because I don't know if you heard, but Eddie's training me. And you know, he, Travis, he'd, he'd lose his mind. Eddie. Yeah. My Eddie? Yeah, you don't know? Fuck, I mean, it took some serious convincing on my part. I mean, in his face, day and night. You know me, I can be pretty charming, right? You know what they say, Eddie Abundes knows how to pick them. Travis, come on, don't be that way, it's business. It's you business. know what, Joe? You don't understand loyalty. You don't understand friendship, brotherhood. You're still in everything. St you gave it all away, bro. Do you fucking realize that? Stealing. Dana was right about you. Dana? Why do you bring Dana into this? What? You don't think I talked to Dana? It was really hard on her when you went away. Really fucked with her head, Travis. I helped her out. Well, gave her some cash. She kept her company. Fucker. Oh, it's a fuck. Everything okay, boys? No, I just saw a disagreement. We're all right. Okay, well, let's keep the fight in the ring. You got it. Gotta relax, Travis. Travis, come on. 
Too fucking sensitive. Take a vacation, you just got out. You know, when my dad came to see me, he said a whole bunch of bullshit, but he never apologized. Not a single regret or sorry. Not that I need it, but it's still pretty low. I don't know why you didn't tell me. Did something happen? Did you sleep with him? Dana, did you sleep with Joe? I couldn't tell you. It happened one time. I regret it at the moment it happened. I was, I was missing you. We hadn't talked, you know. I was, I was scared and alone. My life was turned upside down, too. Man, you didn't think I would find out? How could you? I waited for you for four years! I'm done. I am done being heartbroken about you. I'm done waiting for you. I'm done with this. You changed. You broke my heart. Get out! How could you do this to me? Get out! Done drinking, boss. You on a power trip, boss? No. This is my place, and I'm not in the mood. I like this seat. I'm not moving. I belong here. I belong here. Yeah, you're done. Let's go. Come on. I wish I could say it was all me, but it was my mom. She wanted to make sure I had a good spot while I was in grad school. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on, man? Sit down, yeah. How you doing, you good? <laughs> what's going on, man? It's been a long time. Missed you, bro. <laughs> man, it just, it feels, man, it feels really weird being out. Just give us some time, bro, you know. <laughs> I need to ask you something. I need a place to stay. Yeah, bro, I got an extra bedroom back there. You, you good, man. <laughs> you know, I need work, so I might need a ride later. Yeah, I, I got you. Don't even worry about that, man. <laughs> you hearing that? Come on. Think of stars. Thanks for doing this. Sure thing, man. Stay safe. What up, champ? I want to invite you to my world, man. How long you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this a long time. This is what I do. This is what feeds my family. With this joint, basically it paid off the high ends to keep some stability. You know? You know Joe used to fight for us, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, Joe made a lot of money here, man. Tag free, man. Yo, Leroy, look who I brought. Come on. 
Fire. Travis, you're out. Yeah, but not a few days. So what are you doing here? I need to relieve my stress somehow, no? I meet up with this doctor who wants to sue the joint because his nose is broken. And I'm like, you can't sue a criminal enterprise if you're a part of that criminal enterprise yourself, right? <laughs> so my curiosity gets the best of me. And here I am. And I admit, I like it. Got this, man. These guys are amateurs compared to you, champ. Let's go, man. You up, man. Let's get this money, man. Yeah, bro. It's a whole new ball game. Are you fighting? Of course he's fucking fighting, man. Good luck. I know you. Easiest 400 bucks ever made. Oh, 400 bucks? I gotta get you a job. <laughs> this is it, man. Old school. Yeah, but you gonna become champ in here. Wait, is this uh, Frank Spinoni's place? Yeah, he's one of my mom's clients. Uh, matter of fact, I'm about to go get him. Wait right here. All right. How's it going, man? Hey, champ, how are you? Good, yourself? Yeah. Champ. Hey, man. Oh, what happened to your face? Looks like you stepped into Donnie's world. <laughs> hey, my little sister runs a free boxing clinic over the weekend. Let me know. This guy. Frank, this is Travis. Hi, Frank. This is who you got. Yes, this is Travis. I know exactly who you are. Wait a minute, Frank. Frank, I Frank. don't have any time for pieces of shit like him. In fact, I don't want that guy anywhere near my gym. Wait. I said no. Can you use a mop? Can you fucking mop? Yes. Well, then be here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. You're late, you're fired. Well, get out of my face. That means welcome. Man, what'd you say to him, man? Man, I just told him I'd give him some free legal advice or something. <laughs> hey, you're bad, bro. <laughs> All right? Thank you, Frank. Have you ever cleaned anything before? This place is filthy. I just started. Why are you such a dick? Because I was born that way. Get used to it. Come on, Mikkel. Light on your feet, come on. Come on, Frank, let's Travis Austin. I am well aware who the fuck that is. Now move your feet. Come on, we got a title bout coming up. Now you move your feet and act like you know what you're doing. Come on. You know, Frank, I love boxing too. Oh yeah? That's good to know. That's calling me a dick. Come on, Mikkel! Frank. Come on, give me something. You doing okay? Are you guys all done? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Jana. Can I get a burger? Aren't you training for a fight? Burger's not gonna make me lose a fight. Mm. 
I'll sit down. Sit down. Jan, can you cup it for me? Sure. Been a while. Cut me off like I was an infected toe or something. So, I saw Travis. I know. What'd you tell him? I didn't say anything. Really? Yeah. Well, we broke up. I hate to break it to you, Dana, but he broke up with you when he decided to go to prison. Oh, you just been clinging to a second ship. Yeah, well, you know what? I broke up with him this time. Don't be so hard on yourself. You guys had something, it's over. It's, it's for the best. Besides, you know, I'm glad that he knows the weight off my shoulders, you know? In prison really uh, <clears throat> messed with his head. They're all bent out of shape because I wouldn't give him a job. <laughs> you didn't give him a job? That's really shitty of you. Like, I don't have struggles. Whatever. I gotta go. Hey, 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 hey. Is it so hard to believe? But I'm on with you. Why are you here? Damn it, just. What is this? Thank you. Look, I know it's been hard. Are you out of your mind? I don't want your money. You need to leave. I can take care of myself. Got him in the corner now. Put him there. Keep him there. That's it. That's it, Mikkel. You do that, you're gonna destroy Najarian. Hey, Mikkel, you gotta apply pressure. Joe hey, Travis, you. you go do your job. I'm just saying, Frank, I know him. Listen here, you little pisshead. This is my gym, my house. You contribute here by cleaning. You got it? Hey, Frank, that's good advice. Hey, Mikkel, you keep it to yourself, all right? Go do what you do. Go clean Harry's desk or something. Well, I'm looking at the books right now, man. How much the fucking rubber costs? What? The last time you saw me, did I appear to be blind? Oh, hey, Trav. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You need something? Frank sent me to clean your desk. <laughs> <laughs> you must have pissed him off wrongly. I'm liking you more and more every day, you know that? I mean, I love people who can piss Frank off. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, why don't you start with the chairs, OK? I. I you can get the desk when I'm done here. Hey, Harry. Yeah? You think Mikhail's ready for Nigerian? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a very good fight. It's gonna be good for the gym, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nigerian used to be your sparring partner, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to give Mikhail advice, but, you know, Frank, his leg has him off balance or something. No, no, his leg ain't got him off balance. Frank is, okay? Great trainer, but Frank is. <laughs> well, I hope Mikhail crushes him. Yeah, me too. You miss it, Trav? Every day. Listen, um... Frank has therapy every Friday, right? He goes to physical therapy. Well, his version of physical therapy. And then he goes to visit his son's grave, like clockwork, you know what I'm saying? So what, what I'm saying is, if, uh, if you want to, you could come in early on Friday mornings and uh, I could train you. <laughs> you will? Yeah. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, huh? Frank finds out, he goes ballistic, pissed off accomplished. <laughs> Thank you, Harry, man. Hey. Hey, Dana. It's me. I'm just calling to talk. It's been a while. And, um, I just wanted to hear your voice. That was some fight we had, huh? I just wanted to say that I know I said being in jail was rock bottom, but being without you is really the worst. I love you, and I miss you. Call me whenever you get this. Come on, let's go, let's go. Jab, 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 jab. move. Move your feet, come on, step it up, step it up. Come on, you can grab that, one, two. One, two, good. 
I can't. Not with Frank around. How do you feel about facing the jury? I feel real good. Remember, you gotta get inside. That's good advice. What else you got? Well, Joe is quick, and he likes to dance. But if you can get inside and lay a power hook, you'll lay him out. Hey, Mikkel, when you get... What the hell are you doing in here? Travis, go help Harry! Frank, we were just talking. Why do you always treat me like shit? Because... You gave away everything this sport ever gave to you. You don't know anything. Oh, no. I'm sure there's a lot about this story that I don't know, but that's neither here nor there. The one thing I do know is that you hurt a good man in the process, and I know what it means to lose a child. Well, if you're trying to make me quit, it's not gonna work. Now, you don't walk away from me. Don't you dare walk away from me, Travis! God damn it! Turn the fuck around! What? Oh, come on, guys. Jesus. Can't we have just one peaceful morning around here? Just zip it, Harry. Go wrap your hands. I'm gonna have you spy with Williams. Go wrap your hands! No. Shut up, Harry. Ah, this kid annoys me, but I ain't stupid. He knows both Eddie and Najarian. It'll be useful. What do you think? I think you display a wisdom I thought you had long forgotten. Don't hurt him too bad, baby. Don't hurt him too bad. All right. Let's do this. Let's go. Stop boxing. Come on, Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Travis, get over here. I got you, boy. What are you doing? Far. The hell you are? You're not in a fight. You are here for Mikkel. Now get back in there, start throwing some punches, and move for Christ's sake. Nigerian dances all over the place. But I'm not him. Well, you better fight like him. You're out of a job, you got me? Let's go. Now fight like Nigerian. Move and dance. That's it. <laughs> move it. Breathing on me. You want the tour? <laughs> no. I came all the way out here to ask you something. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, go ahead and shoot. I need to know how you feel after giving me up. Any regrets? Any remorse? Boy, I don't know. Are you here to ask me a question or break my balls? I just need to know so I can let it go and move on. You know? It's a good idea. Let it go. It's in the past. It happened. It's over. Just tell me. I can't. I can't tell you because I don't think about it. I don't want to think about it. All right? Because... Because what's the point? Do you want to know if it screwed up my life? Well... Maybe. 
I have something for you. Stay right here. Your mom used to send me stuff every once in a while, no return address. I've been saving it for you. Kelly sure grew up, didn't she? Did you miss us? You're such a shitty big brother. Oh man. <laughs> uh, you know, my mom was more annoyed than me, but still a lot of problems. You know, I had all good intentions when I joined the Big Brother program. I wanted to be a good role model, but, but I was just messed up. You know, thinking about the boxing, the business side of it. Just thinking about myself. I'm sorry, man. Also a shitty chess player, too. <laughs> nah. You're just scared. <laughs> this guy. What is it? How you doing? I finally get my dream car. I get jacked. I feel like shit. You'll be back in no time. Oh, Mikkel. I hate to say it, but I gotta cancel the fight. Yeah, I'm sorry, Frank. It is what it is. We still got this, Frank. What? What are you talking about? Let me fight, Joe. No fucking way. Come on, Frank. Just give me a shot. You're out of your fucking mind. I said no. You're not ready. Frank, you know, we could get the kid ready. Harry, did I just say no or what? D I said no. I'm not training you. Sir? There's absolutely no smoking in here. Relax, man. Let's Relax. Go. It, it, it's, it's not even lit. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just chewing. Travis, okay. do you want this? I want it. Are you ready to get ready? Yes. Can you take him? Yes. Free! All right, everybody. Hawking up. Hey, uh, I was watching you work in the ring today. You're getting better. Keep at it. All right. Good night. That's it. Do it yourself. You can't hate me that much. Why do you really want this, Travis? You say you want this. I do. Why? Want to be back on top? Beat the crap out of Joe, prove some daddy what? All those reasons. <laughs> you can't have your cake, kid. Not now. You'll just throw it away again. You threw it all away before you went to jail. Parties, the cars, all the attention. I heard all about it. That's not a fighter, Travis. My boy, he was a boxer. Be in the gym every day. 
morning before classes, and then right after classes. He'd do his college work every evening, 9 p.m. to 1 in the morning. I used to say to him, go out, have fun. <laughs> Get a girlfriend, for Christ's sake. And he would look at me right in the eye and he'd say, Dad, I am having the time of my life. And then some drunken asshole kills him. Many lives altered and dreams shattered, Travis. <clears throat> so you see, he embraced being a fighter. You, you're fighting the fighter within you, son. I'm sorry to hear that, Frank. But you can't compare me to him. Why not? You're nothing like my son. You both had incredible lives in front of you. And you threw yours away and his was taken away. That's a big fucking difference staring at me in the face if you ask me. You know nothing about me, Frank. You think I threw it away all one night? The truth of the matter is, everything was taken away from me because of one stupid night. One stupid night that I wake up every day wondering how I can take it back. But I can't. So I'm paying the price for it. I need your help. Well, I'd have to do an awful lot of wheeling and dealing with the commission to change fighters as close to a fight. But I am a royal pain in the ass that doesn't give up. I really want this, Frank. I need this. I really want it too, kid. <laughs> My last shot at some sort of title. Don't screw it up for us. I won't. Be back here in the morning. Let him stand in front of him. Don't stand in front of him. You're standing in front of him. Keep moving. There you go. You be first. Be first. Good hands. Good hands. Go! Hey, what's up, man? I told you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. Come here, Joe. Come on, man. I'm not just saying, I'm not just saying, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. My bad, man. Hey, take it easy. No, he's fine. What are you doing this warming up? That's how you doing. Put your hands out there. You're not trying to hurt yourself. All right? All right. Oh, it's the Harry Stone. Eddie, Eddie. What'd it do, Harry? Good to see you, man. Looking awfully sharp, man. Thank you, my brother. And if I didn't know any better, it looked like you was here for a job interview, but I hate to break it to you, we are not hiring. <laughs> Very funny, my man. Very funny. How's Mikel? I mean, I sent some flowers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Daisies. Very cute. That's feel bad, you know, I was really looking forward to beating his ass, so. I guess now I'll take a vacation, right? Go to Miami, grab some ass. Yeah, about that. Uh, I'd hold off on that Miami trip if I was you, Joe. We found a replacement fighter. Commission's good with it. We were just uh, trying to make sure that you guys were good with it. It's last minute. We're good. Who you got? Uh, nobody special. Guy named Travis Alston. The former champ, I believe you're familiar with him. Bullshit. You're putting Travis back? You tell Travis, I can't fucking wait to get his ass in that room. And fuck you, Harry. Looks like we got ourselves a fight, huh, Joe? Travis. Travis. I just got off the phone with Eddie, and boy, is he pissed. So no fight. Oh, no. There's a fight. There's a fight. 
Keep working. Push him to the limit. This ain't a joke. This ain't just about you anymore. You got my spot. That's my hopes. That's my dreams. That's what I work my whole life for. This is you now. Don't you let them take this from us. You burn and let's heat them up. Win a fight, lose a war because you beat them up. Just because you think you bad, don't make you bad enough. One man with no team is a man with no love. That's it. Do it. Do it for me. Let them fight my war for me now that I am passing them Cauliflower earlobes, swollen broken noses Falling into them robes, I'm hoping she got them roses I hope you know this, I ain't about that fame now I ain't about to change now, I'm about that change now And if it came down to it, I'd run right back through it Try to throw the towel on me, man, you better not do it Still a beast on them, I will always be beating them Only thing is defeating them, it's dinner time and I'm eating them Thanksgiving, I'm feasting them, I'll knock you out in the weekend Your sister's class has sure paid off. Travis, God damn it! Tough days. Oh, shit. You know I didn't mean for things to roll out the way they did. <laughs> of course you did, Frank. Come on, it's in our blood. That's what you taught me, right? You saw an opening and you took it. And for the record, I'm here to tell you, pal, I ain't fucking pissed. But I'm blaming you. I would have done the same thing. Here's to two broken down pugilists who can't let go of shit. <laughs> it's weird to be back training, but we're gonna be back. I'll take care of you. You know this. Time. Hey, stay here. What do you want, Joe? You trying to get in my head? Nah, man. I'm already in your fucking head. Just came to see Dana, you know? You guys back together, or...? What's going on between me and Dana? It's none of your damn business. So get the hell out of here. Why are you doing this, Travis? Because I got money, respect, power. Eddie training me. And why do you feel the need to take all that away? Man, you're a big joke, you know that? <sighs> yeah. Because <laughs> I don't give a shit about what you have. Uh -huh. You enjoy it now because I'm coming for you. Because whether I win or lose, the respect and power will dwindle. And Eddie will eventually leave you. You are my best fucking friend, man. Fucking loved you, man. You know, Ashley came to me that night. She looked at me like I was the fucking champion. <laughs> Why not me? She want to try something new. So I gave her some Molly. 
We got so fucking high. Just like we were connected. She flew before she died, Travis. She flew fucking high. You piece of shit! She's our family! She's our sister! Some fucking family. The next time I see your face, I'm gonna be pounding it in the ring. Why are you stopping? I gotta go. What? Now? I'm sorry. I gotta go. No way! What? Hey, come on! Come on, Frank, Frank. What? Let the kid go. It's pretty here, isn't it? Can't believe she'd been 21 today. Eddie must have been here. She's traveling in cell. Okay, thank you. Eddie, it's Dana. I need to talk to you. Joe and Travis just talked, and there's something that you need to know. Come on, kid. Keep focused. Keep yourself in the zone, all right? Right. Harry, hey, we got this, all right? <laughs> Frank, Harry, Eddie. Hey, you, you mind if I get a word in with Travis real quick, huh? You can't be in here with yeah. my fighter. I know, all right? Under the normal circumstances, I get it. Five minutes, Frank, you know me. Five, that's it. All right, come on. All right, everybody out. Give the man five minutes. Let's go. It has been a long time. You know that when I hear your name and see your face, I just can't help but think of Ashley. Just. Eddie. His... I know the truth. I know the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is our main event for the light heavyweight championship of the world. And now, making his way into the ring, Travis Austin. And his opponent, he is the reigning light heavyweight champion of the world, making his way to the ring, Joe Nigerian. <laughs> this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds of action, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Yeah, Travis Austin has his work cut out for him tonight. I mean, he took this fight on last minute notice. He was in prison for four years. He's given up five pounds. Combination is what I want to see. Are right? you? Ready. Introducing, out of the red corner, wearing black trunks trimmed with red, weighing in at an official 173 pounds. He is the former light heavyweight champion of the world. From Bakersfield, California, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Austin. 
his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold, trimmed with black, weighing in at official 175 pounds. He is the current light heavyweight champion of the world from Los Angeles, California, Joe Najarian. All right, Mateo, I want a clean fight. We already went over the rules in your dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. And when I say break, I want a clean break. You got me? You got me? Okay, touch gloves and good luck. And I don't think I've seen Travis Austin this laser focused in a very long time, if ever. Don't let him get to you. Understand, keep your focus, you got it? Are you ready? Certainly a big fight feel in Las Vegas, Nevada tonight. These two men out the gates hot. His old sparring partner, buddy, but he got something completely different. And there's the patented left hook from Joe Najarian. Oh, right hook to the body by Najarian. Whoa, what a left hook by Najarian. He's slipping back into his old habits. Yeah, Travis uh, reduced to just defending himself. Travis is stunned. I don't think he knows where he is. And Austin stumbles back, looking around, trying to gain his balance. He's still on his feet, taking blow after blow, the right, left. <laughs> and I don't even know if Austin saw that one coming. And Austin, he just seems uncomfortable tonight. Out of his element, maybe a little bit nervous. Austin needs to establish the jab. He needs to get into the inside Come on. And, and, and rough Stay him up. Stay left bit. side. Set him up with the combinations, like I told you, all right? Baby, how you feeling? Good? You got it, baby. That is the prettiest shit I've seen in a long time. He can't find you. What are you doing? He's quick. That's your belt. Get that belt. And both of these gentlemen know each other so well. Eddie Abundez now in the corner of Joe Nigerian, and you gotta wonder what that does to the state of mind of Travis Austin. Nigerian's biggest weakness is his arrogance. And Austin is Come down. On, get up! Get up! Get up! training on you! Get up! 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 Come on, Get up! Come on, Get up! 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 Joe Nigerian clearly in complete control. Yeah, I'm wondering what Travis's corner is going to tell him in between rounds here. He's got to get off the ropes. He cannot stay on the ropes. Wow, Nigerian is using his jab precisely. He's doubling it up. He's tripling it up. He's putting Austin back on his heels. Just what he needs to do. What Austin needs to do is get his head to the chest of Nigerian and come up with that uppercut. Followed by a left hook. Joe Nigerian clearly in complete control. Fighting's tough. It's like walking out to your own funeral. And Travis Austin certainly questioning his decision right now. We're in round three, and he continues to take a beating. Hey, hey, hey! That is a cheap shot. You know it. Okay, I know it. It's a penalty. You know it. I'm gonna take care of it. You do your job. Frank Maloney has his work cut out for him at the end of this round. What is he going to tell his fighter? How is he going to get in his head? He's got to get through to him. He is losing these rounds. Frank Maloney acting as more of a psychologist tonight to Travis Austin rather than a fight trainer. I feel like doing my time there, so. Ray, what are you doing? <laughs> Jaw jacking and Jerry said something to, to piss off. Oh, to piss off Austin. He's a different man. He's fired up. And the Jerry called for more. Oh, that took out of Austin. Travis.
Davis conjuring up his best Rocky Marciano this round. And it's pretty much right now an equal fight. This is the most life we've seen out of Austin. Battling back, fighting, into the body, the body, and now an overhand right hook. I got you. Come on, kid. Come on. I'm proud of you, all right? Fucking give it your all. This is it. It's a, Remember, it's a battle of chess. Your word. And again, Austin just Check trying to survive, but looking good. Coming up with some momentum, and he's got some life late in the fight. I'll tell you, he's down on the scorecards. He's got to do something now. This. I can tell you I've never seen one in my career in broadcasting. Austin and Nigerian firing back and forth. Here goes Austin and Nigerian is stunned. He's up against the ropes. Austin's got him rocking. Oh! And there's the shot. Joe Nigerian has been thrown to the floor. I truly can tell you I've never seen anything like this. Joe Nigerian went flying through the ropes. He's down on the floor. I can't even see him from where I'm sitting. There it is! New champion tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada! It's Travis Austin. What an emotional battle we have just witnessed. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Perry puts an end to the fight at 2 minutes and 10 seconds of round 10. And your winner by knockout and the new light heavyweight champion of the world, Travis Austin! Kelly? I can save in your high place. 
places, girl, I pray for you. Oh, I can save in your high places, girl, I pray for you. Now I'm landing on the moon, girl, so high, never come true, girl. Lonely king on the moon, girl. Yeah, we want the love right now. GLB, baby, quick walk right now. I got the swag on the dance floor right now. Whole world so small from my both right now. We hit the lab right now. La vida loca on the table stacks right now. Yeah, I gonna walk on the water. Real talk, no chalk, baby. Time to come over. Oh, please. I can save in your higher places, girl. I pray for you. Oh, please. I can save in your higher places, girl. I pray for you. Imagine we close our eyes and fly up to high places. All day over the sky, different cities. No, I got no time. Imagine we close our eyes. Thank you. 